right, guys and girls. So today we're gonna unbox this new surge protector from uh, Hughes Autoformers. It's the 50 amp power watchdog. Had a lot of really good reviews on Amazon. So we decided to go with this. And actually we had originally ordered a, a, a um, inline one from a different company. Um, and our rig is 50 amp, but when it came in, we noticed I had ordered the wrong one. So we sent it back and while I was looking for the, for the right one, just kind of had a, um, second thought about it and decided to go with the portable one for a couple of reasons. One is I really don't want to cut into the into the factory wiring even though it's I know it's just one it's easy this and that but I just I don't want to cut into it and then figured if we ever do get rid of the rig we could always take this one with us instead of having to buy a new one for the new um, rig that we get because you don't want to really take out a, a hard wire one from uh, your rig if you're using it or selling it so anyhow long story short let's open it up So let's open it up. Okay. So this is, as I said, this is the Hughes Autoformers. It's Power Watchdog. Pretty cool, I think. A little dog face. Looks like a pit bull. Um, and a couple of reasons we went with this one is I like the fact that it has the app. Some of the other ones you have a remote that goes into your RV and you have to look at it. Uh, obviously to see what the reading is. So that was one feature. Uh, you can look at, it's Bluetooth, so you gotta be within range, uh, but it's pretty cool. Not sure if it's available on Wi-Fi just yet, but I kind of read some reviews and saw some things that it may be coming. The second reason, this one's got ability to lock it with this little um, ring right here that's built in. So uh, that's primarily the, the, the two main reasons uh, I do like the fact that this lights up white, uh, although we're actually going to test it to see if it's um, how bright it is. And then the other reason, as my wife pointed out, is because it has the replaceable surge unit. That's actually one of the main reasons as well. It has the replaceable surge unit, so if it does go out because of a surge, you can actually just reorder the the little uh, surge unit, and I believe they're $33, so our $33. So our plan is actually to go ahead and order one. Once we determine that we do like it, we're gonna try it out this week, uh, or next week. We like it, we're gonna order one to have on hand with us. For if and when it goes out, we don't have to order it and wait for it to come in. We're just gonna replace it right there. It seems easy to do. All right, so we're gonna open the box. Enough talking. Where's our daughter? Victoria. This might be Velcro. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think this is actually Velcro. This is our daughter. Her name is Victoria. She's 11 now. By the time you guys see this video, she's gonna be probably 12. Because her birthday is next week. Um, yours is too. And mine is too. But we won't How old talk are you gonna be? We won't talk about okay. that. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. It's tiny. If it could just stay clean like this, right? That would be sweet. But All it right. is smooth. There's no buttons. You can wipe no that down. No buttons. Yeah. All right, everybody. Rubbed it's it. So tiny. Rubbed it for good luck. So this says we'll turn red when park power neutral is missing. That's good to know. This little digital readout display for error codes that we'll get into. So that's when you first open it, that's how it opens. Then you open this part of it and there it is. All in one, it's ready to go. Don't have to, uh, again, cut into any wiring from the manufacturers on the RV. Pretty hefty. Wow, very hefty. It's big, as big as my, as my face, you can see. So pretty big. Uh, not too, too heavy, honestly. 
I like the fact that it has these little handles right here for easy um, taking it off the uh, receptacles easier and it's got the little handles on this side as well right and look at the size of this wire so that's the size of the wire that I would have to cut into on the main cord on the RV and didn't want to do that all right so we're gonna cut this um, well don't really have to I guess it's got the display of all the error codes right here <clears throat> that are gonna come up here so you know at least what the error code is and then you can investigate and see what the solution is also this from my understanding this uh, when you plug it in turns white if there's an error code it'll turn red so a neat little feature you should be able to see it from inside your your rig looks like it has some threaded inserts I'm not sure what those are for but I'm sure it'll be in the owner's manual and then to be able to replace the surge unit there are some screws you can see right there that you would have to get into so yeah I don't know what this is for <laughs> uh, made in China yeah that's the latch that I was talking about that's one of the reasons we bought it. I mean, don't know that's going to stop a determined thief, but it'll stop a uh, occasional or a weekender thief from getting in there or some kids uh, from trying to take it. So now we got to get a, a lock to go in here. Okay. All right. That's it, guys. That's our choice. We'll see how it goes. We'll test it out next week, and uh, we'll let you guys know.